Good morning, everyone. So on this episode, I want to explain to you um, about why we go to certain hills, certain flying sites. You can't just go to the hill that you fancy. The wind has to be blowing up the slope of that hill. So you can't just go to your favorite hill because it's got a nice restaurant on top and you love flying there, um, but you haven't looked at the weather forecast. You've got to check the weather forecast to make sure the wind is blowing up the slope of that particular hill. So um, if your favourite hill happens to be, say, let, let's say a westerly hill, which happens to be my favourite hill around here. If it's a westerly wind and it's light enough to paraglide, then I would go to that hill. If it was an easterly wind, I, would, I can't go to that hill because the wind will be coming down the hill. So I'd have to go to another hill. So it sounds fairly obvious, but to some people, it, it seems to be apparent that it isn't. Some people are saying, well, I want to go to that hill. Well, you can't because the wind isn't blowing up it. So today I want to explain to you about why we go to those hills. Um, <clears throat> and also learn the compass, learn your north, east, south, west and the in-betweens. So then when you look at a weather forecast, you know what hill to go to. Now, normally I will go to a hill to saw the hill, if the wind is blowing on the hill, anything from 10 to 15 miles an hour. That's nice and safe, great weather for sawing. Uh, now today, where I live here, where our base is, we've got all the, all the best hills. Well, I think they're the best hills. We've got great hills within five, 10 minutes of us, apart from a southwesterly. We don't have a good southwesterly around where we live here. So today we've got an hour drive to another hill that does take a southwesterly. Now the forecast today is only four to five miles an hour wind, which is pretty light. But the hill we're going to today is a big bowl. It's a bowl shaped ridge. So the wind will compress into the bowl and get a bit windier. So I'm hoping that it'll actually be about eight to 10 miles an hour wind. So I'm hoping because it's the shape of the hill, we will get to soar today. So if it was just a flat ridge, today's forecast would be too light and I'd probably go paramotor in, but it's not. This, this hill we're going to, as I say, is a big bowl shape. It's like a big scoop. And what happens is if, if this is sort of the bowl, the shape of the hill, and we're standing up here, the wind compresses into it and it gets that bit windier. Uh, it's a little bit like, I try and explain this to my students, if you imagine you're holding a hose pipe and you turn the water on and it's just trickling out, but if you squeeze the hose pipe, it speeds up. Well, that's what's happening. So where you're squeezing the end of the hose pipe and, the, and the, the flow is speeding up, that's what's happening with the wind here. It's being squeezed in and you're getting that bit more wind. So we're going to a southwesterly hill today. It's only forecast three to five miles an hour, but fingers crossed, I'm hoping it's going to be five to 10, maybe 12 mile an hour. So let's see if that works. Keep it close, that's a good line. Keep it close, no one's in your way. Keep it close, keep easing it in. No, you're fine for Dave, keep easing it in. Follow the hill close. Yeah, the wind's picking up.
Sean's up. Dave's up. Richard's about to be up. Get ready to turn right along the fence, the wall line a bit now. Just come right a tad. There, straight. And now you want to go, I'd go probably right and left now, otherwise you'll overshoot. So go off to your right. Get ready to come left. And now left, back to me. That should be bang on if you come to me now. Maybe a bit more to your left. Yeah, go left more to the wall a little bit, because you, you are climbing. Get ready to come to me. Not yet. Gently to me now. Gentle, gentle. Stand up. Boom. Top landing. Yes. Again. Okay. Keep on that line. A bit more right. And you've got the height here to come round to the right. So gently round and go to the wall behind us slightly. Just slightly towards the wall now. That's good. That's good. Keep going to the wall where the pole is. Keep going to the wall slightly uh, to your left. Just a bit more left. That's good. Keep going because you're high. Keep going. That's good there. Stay there. That's a good line. And then we're going to go right now. Right. Come right. That's good. To me. Straight to me. Stand up. It's all on you. Just relax. Get me to stand up. Excellent, Chris. Boom. Yes. Come on. Well done. Both of you. Epic. Big day. 
and this is pole flying no wind anywhere else 2,000 foot because we had seven mile an hour wind on the hill Oh, what a fabulous, fabulous day. Absolutely ace, landed straight back by the car. What a day. So yeah, we had to wait for it to come. It took a while. So uh, just shows bowls work good and bad. <laughs> if it's looking a bit top end, then keep away from them. But today it got us an epic day's flying. Cheers. Okay, well that worked well, as you saw. So the forecast was light as you saw, but because of the bowl, blah, 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 it worked. So why did I go to that hill? I checked the weather forecast the night before and then the morning of, and it was still southwest. It was still light. So I went to that site because I knew there was a bowl there. It was basically my, no my local knowledge. So I hope you can see this all right. I've just scribbled this up. So yesterday was southwest, so I went to the southwest facing hill. So next time we go out, let's see what direction wind we have, and we will go to that corresponding hill. So if we have a northerly, I'll go to a northerly hill, and vice versa, or maybe northeast, southeast, whatever. You've got to learn the compass, and also if you join a club, most clubs have a, what's called a sights guide and uh, you can go on that sights guide and have a look and again it's another compass like that and it has all their hills on it so you can see what hill to go to for the wind direction of the following day so uh, let's wait and see what the wind brings tomorrow because I think tomorrow might be flyable and then we'll choose what hill we're going to cheers Okay, good morning. So I checked the weather last night and it's saying um, very light wind this morning, maybe um, one, two mile an hour and quite foggy. But by 11, 12 o'clock, maybe one o'clock, um, southeasterly wind um, and coming up to eight to nine miles an hour. So we're going to take our time and we're going to take a slow drive over at about, I know, 12 o'clock-ish, uh, have a slow walk up and just see if the winds come good for about 1, one thirty ish So, uh, it's a, so it's a southeasterly wind forecast. So today we're going to a different hill. We're going to a hill that takes a southeasterly wind direction. So the other day we went to the southwesterly bowl and that worked out good for us. Today's forecast is, as I said, southeast, so we're going to a southeasterly hill. So let's go over and see what happens. The things I do for you. <laughs> Nobody else has come out to fly because everybody else is sensible. <laughs> Been cold today. The wind is bang on southeast, so that's good. Obviously, I knew it was going to be because I checked it. And it feels like it's flyable.
so check the forecast last night it was southeast so obviously I've come to a southeast facing hill it was forecast a little bit light oh there's a bird of prey thermally just in front of me but it's working perfect perfect southeast day got the hill to myself today not sure why really nice and smooth so anyway check the weather the night before check out the wind direction check out the wind speed make sure it's not going to rain etc and get to know all your own sights so you know oh it's light wind but it doesn't matter on that hill because it's a bowl so there's probably going to be more wind there you know just learn your sights I'm not sure why no one's here today. This is beautiful flying. So this particular site takes many directions. The only direction it doesn't take any good is a southwest. So again, we're flying along the southeast face here, look. We're flying along the southeast ridge and off this corner is the southwest corner but it's rubbish so no one ever flies i did fly it many times years ago but it was rubbish i never had a good fly there okay so let's go over it again so the wind is blowing the forecast was for the wind to come from the southeast direction so you've got to go to a hill that faces a southeasterly wind direction which this hill does the wind is blowing straight up it into my face okay so I'm surfing the updraft on a southeasterly hill okay let's imagine the wind is now going to back round to the east which would be over there we would then have to go to the hill that's over this side which this hill actually does take an easterly so let me just walk over here and show you the easterly face Okay, so look, southeast, walking around to the east now. This is the east face. So if tomorrow's forecast was easterly wind coming from that way, I'd go to that hill there because the wind would be blowing up the face of the easterly hill and, vi and so on and so on. So over on the top of the hill, it's north. So if the wind was blowing from the north, I'd go to the northerly hill. It sounds very obvious to many of you that are probably watching this, but it's not to some of the beginners. I've been asking people, people have been messaging me saying, can we go to such and such hill tomorrow? Well, you can't because the wind's blowing down it. So this video might sound a bit weird to many people, but it's not, it's not, uh, it's not so obvious if you're an absolute beginner. The way a paraglider works is we surf that hill so the wind has got to be blowing in our face up that hill gorgeous day not a soul here it's absolutely gorgeous day anyway let's go back and carry on flying
and that's that so that's the end to that episode I hope it helps some of you and um, I think I've probably uh, well and truly overdone all the sort of uh, tutorials now so perhaps from now on I might do a spiral dive one I've been keeping away from that really because I don't want people trying it and hurting themselves but I know there's lots of spiral dive videos out there but anyway I may do one of those but I've got some new gliders coming myself and Sean I got a couple of two kilogram gliders coming from Niviuk next week so I think we're probably gonna do a few videos of us going off for a jog to the hill and doing a bit of hike and flying um, and maybe go back to doing a few more videos of the schooling for the day oneers and the day fivers, day sixers, day you know, so you can, we can show you their progress. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Anyway, hope you enjoyed it. Cheers.